Emily Ann Tushik, and this is Considerate Matt. Over the past several months, we've been exploring how factors external to education or external to the time a child spends in school can influence their overall academic achievement. This month, we're going to continue with the theme and look at early childcare providers in North Carolina. Research has shown that early childhood education helps students to develop important social skills and prepares them to be successful in school. These outcomes are more likely to be achieved in high quality care programs, an important issue for parents seeking child care assistance. To help ensure quality, North Carolina issues ratings for all child care providers across the state, and these ratings help parents make informed decisions about their child's care. This month's map shows a proportion of highest rated or five star rated providers in each county. Selecting a county in the map allows the user to see the number of each provider type by county in the chart below. The breakdown of early childhood education providers in each county demonstrates that, in many counties, there are a high number of highly rated providers. For more about the provider types, Center versus Family Child Care Homes, please see this month's article on EdNC. Our interactive charts look at the relationship between star ratings and community poverty levels. Leaders in the field of early childhood education provided me with the star ratings data and together we hypothesized that areas of higher poverty in North Carolina would have more lower rated providers. The bar and circle charts pair data on star rated providers with poverty rates at the census tract level. If lower rated providers were located in higher poverty areas, the bars or circles for the one and two star rated providers would be clustered towards the top of each of the charts. Instead, as you can see in the graphs, three, four, and five star rated providers appear to be distributed relatively evenly across areas of high and low poverty, challenging our hypothesis of connections between provider quality and community wealth. While this month's visualizations provide us with some context for the quality of care across North Carolina, they're purely geographic and provide us with more information about the availability of care providers than the accessibility to care providers. Just because there are five providers available in an area does not mean that a parent has access to all of them. Parents must weigh the quality of care with what they can afford. More research is needed as to the potential connections between socioeconomic status and quality of care. For instance, are low wealth parents only able to afford lower quality care options? If you're an expert in the field or have thoughts you'd like to share, please share with us in the comment section that accompanies the article on ednc.org.